the blue I feel when I'm feeling down And the ground feeling down That could be most any day school the teachers and the faculty laugh they literally call it a conspiracy even though it's been admitted it's a conspiracy but now I'm taking American history here's my book American history and as I was looking through it today in class I came across something that we will be learning about America in the New World Order. Section 1021 essentially codifies into law the very dubious claim of presidential authority under, 10, under 2001 authorization for the use of military force to indefinitely detain American citizens without access to legal representation or due process of law. Where the guys come from, read between the lines, sucker, don't play dumb. Constant propagandas on television, so cock back your hammer and run and get your gun. There's no way for modern day revolution, cause you ain't got the heart and you probably just run. No right to bear arms, cause my Uzi weighs a ton. You could censor out my words, but I'll never bite my tongue, I won't run. It does not make you tough to hurt these people. There's nothing on my book out. Ushered in the debut of Homeland Security's serpentine labeled Viper Task Force in the state of Tennessee last month, complete with five roadblocks on Interstate 40 and inspections at two bus stations. Is it any wonder then that Janet Napolitano, an alleged lesbian, is being tagged with the name Big Sis, a reference to George Orwell's 1984 and our ever expanding totalitarian scenario? But truth be told, Napolitano is simply taking orders from the real guns. Truth be told, Napolitano is simply taking orders from the real guns. It calls itself the New World Order. It is inherently anti-human. National Defense Authorization Act. I uh, opened the phones up yesterday on the Sunday show from 4 to 6. I took a lot of calls from police and military, all of which that called in were very much against using the military on the streets of America. Uh, but the NDAA 2012, uh, they've uh, passed and now is going to go on to the president, is far worse than just that. It declares the whole world a battlefield, basically declares war on the whole planet. Quite a unilateral declaration of war, which is what eugenics really is. And it allows, of course, the secret arrest and uh, internment of the American people. Anybody who ever made fun of us for talking about FEMA camps and the Emergency Centers Establishment Act and the executive orders because they hadn't looked at the facts, well, they can't really laugh at us now, can they? In fact, they should be thanking us. Intimidation te technique. Nice. Where the guys come from Read between the lines, sucker, don't play dumb Constant propagandas on television So cock back your hammer and run and get your gun There's no way for modern day revolution Cause you ain't got the heart and you probably just run No right to bear arms cause my Uzi weighs a ton You could censor out my words but I'll never bite my tongue, I won't run There is no freedom of speech anymore Please listen to the jackpot officers they will tell you what to do and what to buy. Please continue shopping and paying taxes. You have no longer any freedom of speech. 